Hey guys, hey guys, and welcome back to Toy Commander. We're here, we're on the final level, the living room and greenhouse. Now, uh, I actually believe this was called something else in the European version. In fact, I can find out um, if I check out my notes here somewhere they're on my tablet somewhere started using my tablet for notes again however i kind of wish that i had stayed yeah it was called the living room and winter garden in the european version which is really weird <laughs> the american version uh, of living room and greenhouse makes a lot more sense to me but hey there we go anyway this is the final room of the house and this is Sir Oldrak 13. Whereas in the European version, he's just called Oldrak 13, which is weird. Not sure why they called him Sir Oldrak, but there we go. Anyway, let's go. Final room. Now, this is quite uh, a fun race, actually. I thought it was a lot harder than it is. Now, it's quite an easy race to win. But to actually beat the time, it's pretty tight, to be honest. You have to really master some throttle control here. <laughs> uh, yeah, but hey, we're going to give it our best. You want to hit as many of these boosts as we can, too. Now, there's hot coals in that fire. Uh, they don't actually hurt you, so don't worry about them. Um, it's just background design, I guess. There's also fuel here, which is really hard to miss, which is interesting, but I'm glad it's there because otherwise, oh shit, I've fucked up already. Look at that, fucked up already. That was me getting ahead of myself. That was 110% my own fault. All right, let's start. Oh, also another interesting uh, difference now, our main character here that we're playing, in the European version, he's called Gunther, I believe. I'm pretty sure he's called Gunther. Uh, in the American version, he's called Andy, which again, just some like odd uh, changes, regional changes, I suppose. Be interesting to see what he's called uh, in a Japanese version. But, uh, you know, I don't actually have a Japanese version. I've got a European version, and I've got an American version. Okay, let's keep going. Keep pushing that limit. Luckily, we've got the F-16 here, which is one of the faster jets in this game. Come on, there we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. I actually thought I was going to hit that railing there. That would have sucked. But luckily, we can constantly refresh our fuel. So, fuel in this race is just a non-issue. Which I'm very grateful about. Lay off the throttle and burn into that turn. Turn and burn, baby. Now, this is quite an interesting room. Um, you know, it's difficult... Ah, oh, you dickbag. It's difficult to decide which room is my favourite in this game. But I've got a feeling it might be this one. It just had some really interesting uh, ideas in this particular area. There we go. I think we actually aced it pretty pretty well. 143. Yeah. Yeah. Happy with that. You do realize I will retaliate. You can be sure of that. Indeed. Dogfight. Yeah. Boss 110. So we don't have a lot of time to do this one. But there is a trick. Dogfights, you'll be shot down by exemplary pilots, I assure you. Dropping off mines may help you obliterate the three planes. Yeah, no, <laughs> doesn't work. I tried that so many times um, when testing this level to drop mines behind me. Doesn't work. They don't hit them. They don't fly into them, but that's okay. Now, very, very tight time limit here. Very tight time limit, but... Uh, I think you'll find that we have enough, quite 
enough, actually. And we're in this red barren plane as well, which is nice. Um, it's slow. It's very hard to control. But I like it. <laughs> anyway, let's go grab up some weaponry. We've got 40 missiles now with level 2 missiles. That's, like, more than enough. Now, what we're going to find with these guys is as soon as we shoot at them or hit them, they're going to turn towards us, and we're going to use that to our advantage because we want them to come at us, and then we can just finish them off easy. Come on. There's a, a machine gun upgrade here, but it's literally pointless. We don't need it. And that is that, my pedigree chums. Another humiliation that will not be forgotten. Aha, uh -huh, cool story. Planet Invaders. Oh, I like this. I like the unique units for this level as well. They're really cool. Conquering space. Many have dreamt about it, and now we will make it a reality. Try to stop us from conquering the three planets in this galaxy. Destroy the enemy ships and their planet conv uh, converting ship factory. Then free the pilot and bring him back to your base to control your planet converting ship. You'll see... But when you touch, uh, you'll see that when you touch the planets with it, they will change color. Yeah, this is uh, this is a fun mission. We've got to take over those three planets floating around, but the enemy is going to try and do that as well. So we're going to have to put a stop to that. The time limit on this level is pretty tight. Also, in that jail cell there, uh, we actually have the pilot for our own planet capturing. Um, character so our own planet capturing pilot i should say now they're going to attack our base but it doesn't matter like it doesn't you know if your base gets destroyed here nothing actually happens um we're going to get 40 missiles 40 missiles is fine ah shit see there's their planet capturing ship that we need to take out now the, the rub with this as soon as we take that plane out or that spaceship out they're going to start producing another one but we're not going to let that happen. Yeah. We're going to waste him like that. Now, we also need to try and to at least some degree pacify this area. Like that. And then we need to open that building up. Now... Now we've got to be fast. We've got to be really fast. And go nab our pilot. And get him back. In our own uh, planet capturing ship. Now I think we have one and a half minutes. Those bowling balls. Bowling balls? They're not bowling balls at all are they? Those um, billiard balls or snooker balls. Whatever they are. Will actually explode like mines if we hit into them so you need to be careful and this isn't the only level we're going to see those on either all right how are we doing how are we doing right let's drop our dude off now he's going to get back into our ship come on and there we go time is seriously ticking we're gonna have to go come on come on come on push that limit push that limit there we go, there's one. Something weird's happening because the camera's going fucked up. That's two. And that's three. Yeah, this one is very difficult. There we go, got it in the end. That one uh, with the ring around it is really difficult to capture. Oh, okay. We actually did that with nine seconds left to spare, which is way better than I thought. So you think yourself a flying ace. Sooner or later, you'll cross someone much stronger. Myself, for example. We'll see, my friend. We'll see. Ah, crazy train. This level is a pain in the dick. So, crazy train. You will not have the last laugh. This crazy train will wreak vengeance on my behalf. Bomb this train wagon by wagon before it destroys everything it comes across yeah uh we're not going to do that because bombing this thing is extremely difficult and really inefficient so what we're going to do 
There are no missile pickups on this level. Uh, I accidentally skipped that. In fact, I'll show you. Yeah, we'll restart that so you can see the intro. It's a pretty gnarly thing, is that. We've got plenty of units to choose from, and we have a gun power up here, which is going to be extremely uh, invaluable, shall we say. So, we're going to use our powered up machine guns to take this thing out. Now, one thing to mention, there are no health uh, pickups on this level, which kind of sucks, because if we lose this plane, uh, of sure, we've got another one, but that's not going to have the upgrade. However, there is a sink here. Now, as we know, we can activate the sink and get our health back. At least a little bit of our health back. Enough where we should... Alright, well, that'll do for now. Enough where we should just be able to hang on to this plane. Which is good. We've already caused extreme damage to those turrets. The little turrets won't really shoot at us that much. But they are... The problem with the little turrets is they're really tricky to actually hit ourselves. So we're going to have to be careful about that. That's okay. As long as we've got these powered up guns, we should be graded. Now, what we're going to have to try and do is sort of stay behind and we're almost dead. Let's get out of here. Let's try and get some health back. You also need to be careful of your fuel. Not... It's not necessarily an end game scenario if we run out of fuel here. But, you know, we don't want to. But there is a fuel pickup, so it's all good. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. That was efficient use of uh, company resources, otherwise known as water. Now, what are we looking like? Fuel's a little on the low side. So, yeah, hitting these guns with bombs. You know, it can be done, but it is incredibly difficult to accurately hit these things. As you can see, they're kind of protected by their armor on this plane. On this very German plane. Uh, very... on the plane? They're protected, I mean, by the overlap of armor on that carriage there. And we're almost out of fuel, so we'll break off. Go grab some in a second. Right, there we go. Yep, low fuel warning. Alright. Oh, god damn it. Really don't want to disengage. But it's just useful to have that extra bit of fuel in the tank. Uh, fuel should be. Nope, not here. That's bad. The fuel's behind the chair. Got ya. Alright, cool. Now, where's our plane? Good came back down on a good angle at least come on come on yeah this is the problem when you've got to get to the right angle take these guns out now these guns don't really shoot at you not often anyway unless you kind of get in their way so right, there's one left one left come on come on Oh, are you going around in circles now? No, I was going to say, that would be pretty useful if he was, but he's not. And we're kind of pushing the envelope here for time too. Come on. Really don't want to have to do this one again. Not a huge fan of this level, going to be honest. Just because of how tight the time is. What? Oh, I think we're actually... Yeah. We need to end it now. I don't think we're going to. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do this one in time. That's unfortunate. Unless. Unless. No, we're not. This is the best way to get him. Just this straight here. Yeah. Oh, we were so close. We were so close. But being close doesn't cut it. We actually weren't that close.
Congratulations, you saved your toys from Sir Aldrax's accomplishes. Now, are you ready to try and complete this mission in record time? Yep. Yes, we are. Okay. So, obviously, you can save a lot of time here by not getting yourself hit. But, yeah, good luck with that. Alright. Yeah. A little bit of luck comes down in this mission. Of, like, not taking too many hits. But, again, yeah, good luck with that. We're taking excessive hits already. Just don't want to break off, you know? Because every time we break off, that's a lot. Oh, God, we're going to have to. Yeah, we're going to have to break off. We just have to be more accurate, I guess. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. Accuracy. My dude's accuracy. All right, let's get this thing repaired. At least, yeah, I'll do. Just enough. Just at least put the fires out, you know? Okay, back to the chaos. Now, where's that? There it is. So what we want to try and do is hang back. You do need to be accurate here. Now, doing this on the Dreamcast was definitely challenging due to the controller. But I can't really blame the controller here, can I? Oh, God. Oh, that was not good. We really got some nasty hits on us there, but that's okay. We've destroyed those guys in pretty good time. Now, really? Ugh, that's not great. It's very difficult to heal yourself with this this running water, as I'm sure you can imagine, but you know, it's it's really the only option we have here. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's try and stay behind this thing. Come on. Shoot these tick guns. They kinda look like tick guns. That is what they're now called. That is the 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 accurate name for them. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, man. Into my stream. Nice. Okay, she's gone. Now, it's all about these ones on the outside. Unfortunately, the snaky winding train is playing hard to get. As they do. If you've ever tried to catch a train, you'll know what I mean. Uh, we're also running out of fuel, but let's see if we can just hold off on getting fuel for a minute. Oh, one left. One left. Okay. Okay, cool. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, there we go. Oof. Stressful. <laughs> hey, but we did it. We did it. Beautiful. Okay, speaking of revenge, is not enough. I will slay you like the simpering cow you are. Oof. Really? Really? Oh, new room available. We can actually go do the final boss now, but we won't have all of the toys that we need. So this one's an interesting one. We've got 8 minutes 40 to do this, which is a long time. Um, the exterminators. I now realise why you dumped me in your chest, uh, in your toy chest, so long ago. It must be because you have too many toys. Perhaps my friends and I shall make some room. Take out the exterminators, then return all your toys safely to your base. There mustn't be more than two toy victims. Yeah, so we have to save all except two of them. So. This mission, there is a hell of a lot of um, armor coming towards our little village to make them have a pretty bad day. But we actually have a pretty good amount of equipment ourselves. We've got this truck, which we're not going to use. We've got some troops, which we're not going to use. And you can notice that we have a rather large rocket guy. That rocket guy is unique to this level. Uh, now, the thing with him... He actually fires level 2 missiles, which is good. But, 
We're not going to use them. We're just going to get our tank powered up instead. Because that is going to be way more beneficial to us. Now, depending on what upgrades we come out here, this can make this bit easier or harder. <laughs> now, we came up with some really decent, solid upgrades here. So, happy days. Now, here come the enemy armor. So, let's spare no time in taking these guys out. We actually really did bloody nicely there. Now, I'd rather them hit me as opposed to our toy friends. Uh-oh, wasted two shots there. Not going to make much of a difference, though. All right, let's stop the march of this enemy armor. Ten missiles left. Yeah, we've easily done this. We actually uh, got pretty lucky there, considering what we could have come out of that battle with. All right. Now that's that. Nice. Okay, we're a little bit damaged, a little bit crusty around the sides, but that's fine. Let's keep going. Lots of boosts around here and lots of ramps. You'll see what that's used for a little bit later on. Now, some of our toys are in jail. Now, we don't want to open the jail up just yet because these tanks will destroy them. And that's bad. <laughs> There's also a lot of enemy troops kind of placed around here. And these will also shoot your troops, uh, your toys, your civilians. And that is also really bad. I think there's one enemy tank left, which is fine. See that little git there hiding? We need to take him out too. But we'll do that in a second. Oh, there's a rocket guy there. Definitely don't want him milling around. Not sure why this tank's not shooting at me. But hey, whatever. Hey, friend. You're dead. Bang, bang, you're dead. All right, so not bad. Nice little clean sweep there. Let's open these jail cells up. And hopefully, we're good to go. Yep, there's our friends. Nice. Who else? And say, I'm sure there's three jails here. There is. Let's get those guns going. Now, firing your machine guns uh, for too long. Your machine guns will eventually slow right down. But if you spam tap the button, your machine guns will actually fire faster without uh, running out of charge, which is quite nice. Now, I love this vehicle, this this bus. I like the way there's like skis and stuff on the back that actually uh, animate. This is, must have been a fairly high budget game for back in um, 99, you know. Obviously, well in production in 1998. You got to think the PS1 was like the main system at the time. So to have you know a game with this kind of visual presentation with the little niceties that this game does it must have been a yeah respectable budget game. Right. Anyway, now we need to collect up all of our dudes. Now remember, we got like nearly nine minutes or something to do this. Something silly like that. Absolutely crazy. Now, we left two guys down on the farm. So, we're probably going to leave those two guys there, to be honest. I like the way they dot all these boosts around as well. really gives you uh, a little bit of an edge. So, what I think we can do now is drop these guys here. They've all been on the, uh, the Jesus juice. They're all falling over. So, let's just drive down here and drop back down. Glad there's no full damage in this game. Uh, let's pick up you and you guys. Oh, actually, I don't think that's going to be enough. I think we're going to be like one guy short. Maybe. Let's go grab one more guy. Thought we could save a little bit of time doing it that way, but maybe not. Oh, well, no matter. go pick up this guy. Uh, sorry love, you'll have to stay there, but on the bright side, all the enemies are dead, so, you know. Look on the other bright side, you've got the place to yourself. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. 
Nice. Now we've got to do is drop our dudes off. Yeah, remember how long did we have? Yeah, 8 minutes 40 seconds to do this. I can't imagine uh, using those soldiers is actually going to, you know, pff, do much. I've never really used those soldiers to complete this level. Uh, I can't imagine them being very effective at all. Oh, I love the music. There we go. Got all of our dudes. Apart from one. Shame we had to leave her behind, but there we go. Smashed it. Listen, I'm Sir Uldrak13. You may have beaten my records one after the other, but do not for one instant think that you can beat me. Now, he's not exactly wrong there. He, he's he's fairly tough. Um, I mean, we are going to beat him. We're going to kick him, you know, pretty fucking hard in the sacks. But he's no slouch. The piano predicament. This is a fun one. We shall not surrender. Our strength lies entirely in this amazing instrument. And it will be protected at all costs. Destroy the piano. But first, you'll need to find the mega bomb. Even if it's still damp, hint, it will explode if you place it in the bowl deep inside the piano. You will have to do some clearing out before you get there. Yeah. So, this mission... This mission is fun. I don't know how Andy suspended that piano, but hey, whatever, I guess. Ours is not to reason why, I suppose. Uh, we missed, we f I fucked that right up, didn't I? I can't remember how tight the time limit is on this level. Uh, what are we on? Two, oh, 205. Yeah, so we don't exactly have an, uh, a huge amount of time, but we've got enough, obviously. So, grab up all of these missiles. We actually need a lot of missiles for this mission because we're going to need to clear the enemy out. Now, luckily, coming down this chimney again, there's a nice amount of weaponry, and we missed that pack of missiles, but you know what? That's fine. I might have just thrown this by taking so long. Right, these gun turrets here need to go. We need to clear all these out. And now we need to go into the fish tank. Because remember, something, something, bombs wet. Whatever could they mean, right? Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Now, sneaky, sneaky. Two bombs. Uh, two bombs? Two towers hidden behind that, which is a little bit sly, if you ask me. Now, let's go. We've opened the place up. Oh, look, there's little boosters on the legs of the uh, chair there. That's pretty cool. Now, let's go deliver the package. Now, there's mines in this water. You've got to be a little bit careful, but I don't think the mines really hurt you that much. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, it seems like the time limit's pretty tight, but you have plenty of time. Boom. And that's how Luke destroyed the Death Star. Or something. So, you have let your success go to your head. I could still destroy you in a split second. Yeah, he could. <laughs> and he might do. He is a really tough boss. New room available. Yeah. I may be a little damaged, but I can still kick your butt. I've been waiting for this for so long. And I swear I uh, you will suffer Andrew Gunthy. Oh, they changed it to Andrew Gunthy. Or maybe it was always Andrew Gunthy. My memory's not what it used to be. Yeah, so he's a transformer, basically. And the first thing he's going to do is fly around. Now, he doesn't mess around. His weapons do pretty unbelievable amounts of damage. So, let's clip his wings. I think he's done. Yeah, he's done. Now, there is a pack of... 30 missiles here that does respawn. It doesn't respawn quick, but it respawns 
Now this is a terrible angle to come at him as well. But it is what it is. Now those spinning discs that he's firing at us are actually faster than we are. Um, but they are fairly easy to outmaneuver, so there's that. I want to try and stay behind him. Look at our name scratched into his back as well, which is pretty cool. Right, this is where things get hard. We're going to want to stay behind him all the way because he can't hit us when we're at his back. Now, interesting to note here, we can let loose missiles and we don't hurt ourselves. I don't know why. Maybe it's a bit of mercy given to us by the developers. That was close. You can pretty much only survive one hit or two hits from his uh, head gun. His head gun, yeah. The weapon on his head. It tracks you really well. Um, it can be avoided, but it tracks you really well. And unless you're behind him, it's pretty savage. But anyway, that was the uh, second to last boss in the game. So, Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Sir Oldrak 13 is in smithereens. These toys are useless. It's no surprise that they're already on the 13th series. And he's a turncoat too. But there's nothing like good furry old oh good old furry toy commander. Hmm. We really get into furries? Okay. So that's that. That's the game aced. Or is it? We have the hidden area. Ah, the hidden area is already unlocked. That's curious. So when we come back. Uh, I guess we're gonna yeah we're gonna have like um, the final boss and the hidden area lumped into one the hidden area is pretty brutal it's a race that allows you to unlock something pretty cool but it's hard it's really really hard uh, because it's so jank basically it's not difficult because of um, you know fair reasons it's difficult because it runs at somewhere between 7 and 10 frames a second. Even Actually, it runs better on the emulator than it runs on the actual Dreamcast. On the Dreamcast, it was literally a handful of frames a second. Uh, and it's really difficult to control. But we'll cover that in the next episode. And of course, we have the Cellar, which is the last final boss. But anyway, guys, that's going to have to wait until the next uh, episode. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.